The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman. Tiger Conditions Hour, noon to 1 p.m. Eastern Time. My pleasure to be here. 877-927-6648. Call in. Love to hear from you. E-mini down three. Nuclear war. We're down three. Um, something's wrong with this picture. Look at the VIX index. I was fortunate enough to be able to do uh, Larry Pesavento's show at 9 a.m. this morning. We were talking about this, and I said, we, we saw the same thing at, uh, with the Trump health care uh, uh, spike in, uh, that was back on the 29th of June. VIX goes to 15.16. It was, it was a fake, fake news event, not fake in the sense that it couldn't happen. It was just that what we're looking at is the sentiment, the fear was so intense so quickly. And look at this. Yesterday, we go to 11.50 in the VIX after being just a week and a half ago at 8.84. You're at an all-time high in the Dow, all-time high in the S&P. That's very unusual. Something's wrong with that picture because normally going into the 12s, what was the high today? 12.63. Um, you would expect that the Dow would be down three, 370 points. So let's just put this in perspective. What's really important here is that we are, are forming some kind of a topping process. It is part of the rolling corrections that we see, sector rotation. And that's really important. That's part of the webinar that I started Wednesday night a week ago. It's a two-webinar series. All of that is pertinent to what we're looking at. There's no time involved because you can replay it many times. What is time consistent is the daily newsletter. And there we're following up on all these things that we're discussing. What is pertinent is that in a week's time, a week from today, I do the second part of my webinar. If you're interested in looking at what's working, what's not working, what could hold well here, uh, in the den, uh, Peek, he's talking about the resilient market. Yeah, this is the ever-ready bunny uh, uh, market. Why? Because I, I discussed this quite some time ago. I said, I finally begun to, and I thought I understood uh, Trump, but I would gotten a, a really good perspective about three months ago when I said, it is going to be what actions, not reactions, not tweets. It is what is taking place. And if you really dig above, below the surface, and I am really sick and tired of listening to either uh, uh, aggressive, negative, or aggressive, positive stuff with Trump, I think you've got to look at it right square on and say, our president is an unusual person. He's he is reflexive in that there are things that he's so used to uh, approaching immediately and having a comment. But what is going to be so different, and that's what we've seen, is that with Congress, he cannot get things passed immediately. There are under the, ta under the, under the radar things that are going on. I want to talk about this now, because if you want to understand the stock market, a long time ago, when friends said to me, What's with the stock market? It keeps going up with Trump. I keep saying to them, do you read the paper? And they say, yes. I say, good. If you read the paper, then forget about the stock market. Just treat stocks independent of news. And that's basically what we've got to look at, at least for this phase. And this phase, I think, is going to go on a little longer. And at some point, when the, uh, when the wheels hit the asphalt, I think that we're going to see something different. But up until now, when you think about it, legislation has been taken off for, for businesses. Um, there are less encumbering uh, legislative or at least active 
um, specifications that they have to deal with in their daily day-to-day -day businesses. And I think that that's been reflected. Earnings for the last two quarters have been really good. I believe that you've got to stop listening to news in relation to trying to buy or sell in the market. And that includes everything. It includes what I say. It includes what many people say to the extent that you really have to approach it by taking your own. You can listen to others, but you've got to put it in, and it's your own interpretation. You like a stock. You buy a stock. You put in a stock. You don't like the stock. Don't buy it. Yes, you can short it. Put in a buy stock. Just treat it very pragmatically. This is a pragmatic market right now. So now I can go into what I wanted to say earlier. Um, this morning when I did Larry show, I said the VIX is up in the, it hit 12.63. It, it, at the time, I think it was at about 11.80 or 11.90. I said if the VIX starts to pull back and goes under 12, goes under 11.50, be careful because there's enough buying. This, this spike is unusual. I've never seen it. I just don't recall seeing it at a major market top. A spike like the, the VIX the same day and then the next day. So something's going on here that says, yes, you've got to be careful. I believe that we are, some of the sectors are in fact topping. Some of the sectors are in topping mode. And I'm talking shorter term. But at the same time, there is buying. The buying is there. I needed to say that because I really want you to be able to look at the market, listen to what we all say, and then assess it and put it into your own perspective of how of your tolerance. That's really what I wanted to say. Stick within your tolerance. If you're uncomfortable, get out of that uncomfortability. It's important. Okay, now we can go to the market. The VIX is up at 51 cents at 11.47. Um, if the VIX closes below the low of today so far, which is 11.26, that's just going to suggest there's going to be a retest of perhaps a retest of some of the, the high levels of yesterday. Um, but we'll, we'll go into the whole thing in, in a moment. Let me just finish this up. INDU, this is the Dow, uh, is, it's pulled back. This is probably going to be a PD with no new high above 22,179 today. Yes, it is a Chapman Wave 5. Yes, it is a D. And if it is a peak D, watch the, watch the MAC D. The moving average conversion is still very good. Stochastics in 93 turning down. Very good. On balance volume gave a clue yesterday about the turn down today. Still acting pretty well. Weekly chart is in leg D. Technicals are good. The monthly chart is in leg E. So what are the parameters to watch? A close below 21,900 in the next three, four sessions would say, okay, we've made a top. At least it's a short-term top. Let's go one step at a time. Next level to watch will be the 21,800s. On the upside, a break to a new all-time high would be absolutely fantastic action. It would be really impressive. S&P, SBX.X, here we go. S&P is down 3.83. I mean to say the Dow is down 55. Um, the S&P is at 2471. The high that was made yesterday of on the cash index of 2490.87. A new high above that in the next few days is very impressive. I think we chop, chop, chop a little bit, and then we start to come down in my daily, for my news, for new data subscribers. I drew this in right here. I drew in that pattern of down, up, and then back down to lower lows in the very short term. I'll be back. Basil Chapman, thank you for the show. Bowser 54, SP's down three and a half. I'll be right back after these important messages. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender.
Basil Chapman. We'll be giving a two-series webinar Wednesday, August 2nd, and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Each time the market feels it's ready to have a sharp decline, formerly weak sectors rally to hold the market up. This two-webinar series will be free for Basil's opening call subscribers, and non-subscribers will also receive his daily newsletter for one month free as a trial subscription. Sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter, The Opening Call, and gain access to his subscriber-only webinar on August 2nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Hi, everyone. This is Basil Chapman, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at my webinar series. To sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter and gain access to Basil's webinar, visit the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Basil takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Hi, folks. We're back. And I just, uh, one of our tigers in the den was saying that the E Mini has uh, these touches. It's amazing how it works. Let me show you something. You talk about amazing. This is what I discussed and I showed you my webinar the other day. Well, first, let me just show you this. The, the, um, 120-minute chart, VXO, that is the CBO volatility index on the Dow. It's just made a peak E, so it's pulling back, so that's going to be very important to monitor. Let's get out of that. Put it over there. Uh, here's the thing that I wanted to show you. Look at this. Here is a trend line that goes from 2003 in the Dow. This is a monthly chart. Look at these beautiful touches right there for support. Then all of a sudden we break down in 2008. This line continues, but the red line, another dashed line, which is an up channel, has, look at the touches in the Dow. It touches back in 2011, 2000, twice in 2010 and 11, no, three times altogether. Then the same line just misses back in 2013, but at just about 2013, 14, it hits again. And then it hugs that line. It just runs along the line like, a, like an electric current that's just grabbing the price and pulling it towards it like a magnet. And then there's a pullback, sharp pullback in 2015. Start that brand new move. And where did we stop? Right here. We just stuck above the red line, that red thick dashed line. And the green line, we've touched. The green line that goes back to 2002. Talk about trend lines. That is incredible. Now, look at this, talking about trend lines. If you go back to the TNX, and that's the thing that I'm, I'm going to, the, the very next webinar that I do on Wednesday night, a week from tonight, I'm going to be discussing a lot in terms of trend lines, how you can draw them, etc. because it is, as, as this person then said, it's a wonder to behold how these things can happen. Look. Can you believe that this TNX, the 10-year, oh, should have been the TYX, but TNX is fine, has been in, the high The high was back in 1982, some of us, uh, 81. Some of us who have been in the business a while know that that high, interest rate September of uh, 1981, this is the 10-year, was, uh, well, it doesn't matter because it gets smoothed out. Let's call it 158, right? And now it's trading at 22. But look at this channel line. The channel line hasn't been broken. The 10-year Treasury note interest rate. Um, look at that. Just beautiful. 
it's just a sight to behold. And if it's the TY, which is really the 30, that's the one I usually like to look at. Look at this. Oh, the one I usually like to look at. Not there anymore. Okay, so TNX is the one we're looking at, thank goodness. TNX, that's the 10-year Treasury note. Look at that channel. It goes from the high of 1987, October the 19th, the, all the way down. Just a beautiful, how does it know? I have a theory about that. We want to go into that. Right now, I want to do this. We've got the QQQ series. Having made a peak C1, now I'm going to put this in because it's not quite right. It, it's just a little deeper than I would like, but I am going to put it in. Peak C1 and a peak C2 in the Chapman wave instead of a D. It just fails to make that D. The technical suggests that uh, it could have tried, but it was going to fail. Technicals are very poor. And yet, oh, I changed it to yellow. That's right, color, blue. Uh... And I need this corrected. So let me just fix that up. Okay, here we go. Uh, format, click, click. And now we've got C2 right here, C2. And that's 145.96 on the 27th of July. And yesterday's high was 145.47. So you missed it by, I, I would prefer 148.82. And I'd say that is a perfect peak one, PC, peak C1. Peak C2. In other words, it didn't get to D, but it made that little double top. Not quite right. And in the month, in the weekly chart, it's G slash C. It just make it real easy. The rally that we're looking at now, and this is what I was talking about earlier on uh, in Larry show, I had a call from Lou. And I said, just be careful. If, because if, it, if we were down at the bottom here, we're down near the 143.40s, I think, or 140, somewhere around there. I said, if there's a rally, you got to be, he was short, and he got the short exactly at the close yesterday. I said, you don't want to give back the, the, the gains. you got to put in some kind of a stop, but uh, there's a good chance that the Qs are going to really struggle. Um, but will they make a leg D above 145.96? The way the VIX is falling, look, if you go to the VIX.X, I should go to the VXO, but I, yeah, this is fine. Um, Look at that! Look at that! Look at that move from yesterday. It was at nine dollars and fifty-two cents, and then it goes to twelve dollars and sixty-three cents. as a that's a, that's a third of a, it's over a thirty-three percent rally. That is really good. So now let's just make this real simple. The IWM, which is the Russell two thousand, which was the weakest, is still the weakest. It's down seventy-two cents at one thirty-nine twenty-eight. So it's gone to a trough, A, trough, this is leg B to the downside. What's really important about this is this trend line. You remember we talking about trend lines? And this is just something that you should learn to do in your own work. You just take, there are people that have different methodologies in terms of identifying what is important as a low or a high. I make it real simple. I go to the lowest low bar or the highest high bar. If I can start off at the top of a candle or the bottom of a candle and go to the next top or bottom, that's fine. If I have to go to the candle itself to be able to get three touches, then that's fine. So what I've done here is I've gone from the low of 12 um, in the weekly chart from December, no, February the, the 12th, 2016. I hit that exactly at the low. It's, uh, it's very close. It doesn't matter. Of November, the week of the 4th of November of 2016, election a week and then it comes in and it goes to this level right here and right here would be 137.80s if the weekly chart of the IWM sees a failure and there's a, a, a close it can just spike down but I'm talking about a close in the 138.30 or lower area that's a problem you've broken a major trend line that goes back and look at the beauty of this if I look at it in terms of time Look, I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to then click on it. I'm going to change the color, make that green, light green. And take that light green one. I'm going to go click. And I'm going to wherever it went. I don't know where it went. No, it's not that one. Oh, make it easy. Come on. Okay, right there. That's it. Okay. And I'm going to make that red. Uh, no, I'm going to make... I'm a new parallel. There we go. 
And that goes from there. Wait, there it is. And it goes to the week, uh, no, it goes to the, yeah, the week of the 28th of July. So this is two weeks late, but look at the match between that move there and that move there. And that's another reason for saying, just get become a little careful that right now, that's all. It doesn't say go, go massively short. It says be careful. If you are short, that's fine, but you've got to put in a stop, a buy stop uh, accordingly. That's all. Um, so that's the, the IWM. I want to get to gold because it's going to be very important. My thinking here is that gold had an emotional spike, but the reality is I don't think we're going to walk. This is my own personal opinion right now. This is just, who knows? But I think gold is going to be pulling back. But it has had a beautiful move in the last five weeks. And it touched the Georgia period in the, in the week. Platinum, okay. grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan. Logan's most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profiles So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk-free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. Question about Esther Lauda. Is it in leg E and leg C in the month? You know what? I'll have to do some work on that. I, I can't say. I used to have it all notated. I don't know what happened there, but I'll be back. So a couple of things I wanted to talk about. I uh, had questions. So... We're going to go to gold and, and gold trading at 12.78 up 15 was only up eight or nine and then it accelerated up and it went all the way to uh, 12, 12.80. What was that? 82.40. Now it's at 12.78. Still very strong. Going to a leg E. I'm calling it an E. There's a left side, right side price tie match, which says that the, it, it, it's a day late and it hasn't gone to the 
1290.40 area yet. But if there is a larger move to come, that will give you a price time match. I'm going to do this right now of. And this would say that, yes, now the rhetoric is really heating up and things are not good. I'm not sure about any uh, any missiles going out or anything like that. But that would say that be careful. And that would say that by the 11th, within a couple of days, you should be up at the 1300 level. Mm, I'm not sure yet. I'm just looking at this and saying it's bumped into resistance gold at the 200 period moving average in the weekly chart. It's had this fabulous move. The monthly chart, you can see, is right at resistance. Um, we'll see. I have a caller. I have a caller. Ari. Hi, Ari in Arcadia. How are you? I'm pretty well, Basil. Good. I'm looking at FNV, which is Franco Nevada. Oh, F, not S, but FNV. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm looking on a weekly, and it, on the June 5th week, it had yes. a D. And then Correct. It had a D on a weekly, and in the meantime, it's made a brand new gray A1, B, I mean, gray B and gray B. Great, great A and a, a great, and great B. B, yes. Except so, that, just can I just finish that for you? 76.27 was the high June, the uh, that was June, the week of June the 9th. And today's high is 76.33. So by five cents, it's gone to a new high. So let me just put the notation in, and then you can finish your thought. Gray A, you're absolutely correct. And now it goes E slash B. And it's got the cup formation. A lot of things can happen with the cup formation. Sorry, continue with your thought. My indication is that that it's not a strong B yet, but my indication that it's going to be a C rather than the next leg up when it finishes B, it will be a C. Okay. And rather than an F. Uh, how do you feel about looking at the chart in the long term? Aspect so, of the, so this the is e Frank. The B. Yeah. So let's. I'm going to also include the monthly. So that that's going to help you a lot. And I'll explain what I'm looking at. Franco Nevada um, Corporation uh, Gold. I don't know if this is, is it just gold or is it gold and silver. I'm not. I don't remember. Gold, um, silver, all kind of metals. Okay, it's metals. All right. So what we're, it's up three dollars and four cents, seventy five point seventy four. And this is very interesting. Not all the gold stocks are acting quite as well as this. This is a very impressive move. In fact, this is an impressive move enough for me to say that Frank Franco Nevada is going to give us a tremendous amount of information by its actions. And I'll show you why over the next. Let's do this one step at a time. The daily chart right here has gone to a high that broke just above the previous high. But I want to put in the plumb line, and that's that vertical line right there. I'll have to move it over because I didn't hit it exactly. Right there. And that plumb line says right there. I've got a left side from the high that was made in June to the right side. This is going to be doing it live on TV. Here we go. There we go. OK, so now it says if there's going to be a match, a match to the right side, it should come in at about that same price right here. Um, and that should be on the 8th of August. And today's the 9th. It's one day late and it's pierced the level. So that's a technique I developed many years ago. And it's, it's just it's astounding when you can have the number of bars on on the left equal the number of bars on the right, just the way this has. It's just it's a beautiful thing to see. But it's gone to a leg E, and E is where you've got to say, oh, we've got to be a little careful here. The MACD is good in the daily. Stochastic's only at 59%. So this move, the spike today, defeats what we were looking at a few days ago when it made that D and it pulled back under the nine-period moving average. That's because of an emotional event, or an emotional event, but an event that's been treated emotionally by people going to the safety of gold. Okay, so that's the daily. The daily says, <clears throat> if there's a decisive close above 
7627, the high of the 6th of June. Then this is, at this point, I'm calling in a leg E. It can go higher, but usually you have to come back and do some testing if it's called the, the Chapman wave cup and ladle. That would imply that tomorrow we just go straight through into the 7680, 7750 area and actually move even higher than that. The weekly chart suggests the same as the daily, that it is a move up without the veracity, without the confirmation yet of the technicals, although the MACD is good, it deflected higher, stochastics way down at 72%. So that says, I'm calling it E slash B now. If it pulls back maybe only to 7430 and then makes a brand new high and goes into the 76s or 77s, I'm with you. I'm inclined to then give the favorability more to a, a leg C than I would an F. But here's the issue. If there is a, right now it's in leg C, gray leg C in the monthly chart. The implication is that Franco Nevada could eventually make an overlapping wave and pierce that high that was made back in 2016 in August, a year ago, at 81.16. So, so far, everything I'm looking at is suggesting price-wise, not necessarily technically, but price-wise, this is working its way higher, and it's giving confirmation when the waves start to overlap like this. It's saying, you know what? Franco Nevada is acting extremely well. So, you, are you in it? Are you long, or is this just an analysis that you're looking at? No, I'm long. Okay. So if you're long, Ari, then what I'm going to say to you is, at this particular point, there's a lot going on that favors tremendous support in Franco, Nevada, FN, FNV, trading at 75.93 right now. There's a lot of support at the nine-period moving average of 73.56. I'd even go so far as to say, even down to 72.30. If it takes out 72, by the time next time we talk, that's not going to be good. That's going to say, uh-oh, now you've got a cup formation in the weekly that's going to go to a double U, like a lowercase w, and it's just going to chop around in a, in a sideways to slightly down move. I like it. I think you've really got your eye on a prize here. It's acting very, very well. Nice, nice work, Ari. Thank you, Basil. And thank you for calling. I appreciate it. I haven't heard from you for a long time. I'm pleased you are around and still listening. And uh, good luck with the trade. We'll be back, folks. Basil Chapman will go to uh, Kerry in Kansas straight off to this. Oh, Ken in Kansas. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date, active trading information that will 
will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE -E or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Folks, we're back. Dow's down 66. Six, uh, S&P's down four and a quarter. I think this is going to be the struggle we're going to see all week, trying to, uh, to, to, to complete that rally phase that, like, the semiconductors and some, some other stocks were trying to do, and the weak stocks, the ones that are not successful. Let's go to Ken in Kansas City. Ken, how are you? I'm very good, Vasil. Good to talk to you again. <clears throat> hey, good to speak with you. It's been a while. Yes, it has. I'm uh, wondering what your feelings are on GE. I haven't owned it for a long time, but I know you at least used to follow it all the time. I, I follow, follow it every, si every single day. I follow <clears throat> GE, and I also follow the news here because they're going to make a change. They're going to do the building down, they call it the South Boston Radius across the wharf, and uh, all of a sudden they're, going to, they're saying they're going to just stick with one building for now and finish the second one later on. I think they're overpaying. Well, they've got the money. But it's, their focus has just been lost, mainly because yeah. of the move, I think. Uh, well, the move represents the whole uh, attitude that they have. So GE has a huge gap down from the 2660 area back on the 18th, the 20th of July. Gaps down the next day, has a high of 26 round number and plummets down to a low of 2526 and really is going to a rectangle sideways formation and rectangle formations can keep, can stay a lot longer than uh, one's patience. So this is what I'm looking at because I think that GE is going to come back strong at some point. But it is about to test the 200 period moving average of 25.11, 25.11 in the monthly chart. It is way under the 27.57 200 period moving average in the weekly. And it looks to me as if there's going to have to be some kind of a culminating event. It might be the stock market. It might just be GE by itself. There's some bad news that comes out, and we get a massive volume spike. There's a technique that I developed that says that if the price just collapses one day, gaps down huge, but you get a massive explosion in volume, that allows, it to, allows whatever you're following to move up it doesn't tell you how high anything other things tell you how high but it says it won't retest that low for at least 28 sessions and there's a chance that if it holds those 28 sessions it could go for 56 i only use it on daily charts occasionally i've seen it work on a weekly chart but i don't know if i have patience or even remember about it so it's the daily chart so that's what i'm looking at i think ge is going to have to Either it's going to get into the gap and it has to break above 2660 in the next few weeks, and I just don't see I don't see anything a catalyst at all for it, or it's going to take out 2526 and just free fall because there's nothing there's nothing there. 
and then we'll be looking at it about 10 to 12 percent lower and see what happens. So I'm, I've refrained from even trying to buy it or even short it, actually. I'm just looking at it. It's been a fantastic tell on the market still. It's been my Dow indicator stock for decades, and it still yeah. is. It's been really wonderful. Not saying, look, it's at lows and the market's at highs, but intraday, it tells us a lot about what could happen the next day. And um, so I, all I can say is I, I know that this is the kind of stock in a way you'd like to buy because you'd like to have it as a buy and hold, even if it's only a, a 15 percenter, if it'll be nice if it just steadily goes up regardless of what happens to the market. But I've got a feeling it's now both market related, still uh, somewhat market related in that until GE really breaks into the 27s, which is really only a point and a half away. But until it breaks into the 27s, I, I have to look at it as a very weak stock. And the best is that it goes sideways. But I got a feeling it's going to be one smack to the downside. It could happen suddenly. And if it does that, I'm going to study it carefully because this could be a stock that's one of those stocks that's just been beaten down, beaten down, beaten, and now there are no more sellers. People, if it takes out 25, I wouldn't be surprised if the last of the sellers just throws up their hand and says, you know what, just like the Dow that goes through 21, 20,000, through 21,000, through 22,000, you throw up your hands, you say, you know what, I'm not fighting this. Well, that's the same thing on the downside. So I don't know if that helps you, but I'm just saying yeah. I would like, I'd like a catalyst to be able to buy it and and try to buy it saying this is just a portion of money that I'm putting into GE and it's just a buy and hold and I'll have a stop in place and just see where it goes on the upside. I don't see the catalyst just yet. Okay. You have time for another quick question? Sure. Uh, Dow DuPont, is, I guess the merger has been approved and it's to take effect the end of this month, I think. I'm just wondering if you have any feelings about the uh, merger. So now, I don't know why I don't have my Dow stock uh, all notated here. I do have it somewhere behind. Let me just see one thing here, because I can show you something really fascinating. The Dow monthly, okay, that's active. I want the Dow monthly that's not, oh, there it is. Let's see. Uh, I don't think that's the one. I'm going to try this. Activate. No, that's the one. All right, try it again. I've got a Dow stock that I used in my webinar, not maybe two times before, and... I just kept it in the background here to say, hey, just keep this active. Uh, okay, there, I think this is it. I'm going to give it a shot. Here it goes. Active. Okay, here it is. Is this all note? Yes, there it is. So Dow and DuPont, of America, what, du DuPont is essentially taking over Dow, right? No, I think it's really the other way around. Oh, it's the other way around. Dow is taking over DuPont. Okay. Two fantastic companies. It's, it's a, yeah, I think it's a pretty much of an equal merger, but... I think maybe Dow, their their uh, CEO is going to be the CEO of both of them, and so. Uh, okay. All right. So what I've got here is that Dow, and are they going to keep which symbol are they going to keep? Dow, D O W, or D D? No, it'll be. Uh, oh, I've got it here. I think it's D O W that they're going to move D it to. D D W D B. Oh, D -W -D -B. Brand new. oh. That means I lose all my notation. All right, I'm not even going to touch the notation until it's done. I've got it at a peak C in the monthly, and it's Dow. This is Dow Chemical, and it's doing fantastically. And even right now, as we're speaking, at 63.25, it's just off the high, all-time high of 67.50. So this company is going to be a powerhouse, but I would not be surprised, because this happens very often, that the that the cost of putting this all together, both cost financially, cost in time, and cost of deciding what you keep and what you don't keep. And there's always a mistake that you should have kept this and you didn't keep this. So I suspect that we're looking at a chart that's going to probably pull back. And when I finally get this thing as a as a brand new IPO, or let's call it as an IPO, because it's a uh, um, the, the new stock has a new um, template, um, I would not be surprised if that can go all the way to at least a D in the monthly charts before we get a major, major, major correction. That'll probably be a clue for me. I don't know. That means it has to be to get to the seventh 
wave that is peak D, it takes at least a minimum of eight months after they become public. So that goes into next year. I'm going to keep it in mind. But in the meantime, as far as G is concerned, hold on. And as far as Dow and DuPont, let's watch it closely together. Just remind me, Ken. All right. Thank you very much, Dale. Thank you for calling. I always appreciate it. Dow's down Bye -bye. 66. I'll be right back after these messages. Bye, Ken. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch Steve. Steve Rhodes, as he teaches techniques on technical analysis using pattern recognition, celestial charting, Fibonacci, and other tools. The Trader's Edge, next on TFNN. Don't forget, folks, you've got a great program. You've got Steve coming up after that, then Dave White. You've got so Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien. What is today? Wednesday? Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. So, terrific programs. Uh, I had a question about NVIDIA, but let me just go back here because I need it. We've got just a moment here. Um, I... NVIDIA is acting very well. It's still a leader, and it's only in leg B, I believe, in the month, in the weekly chart. A leg, it's recycled. It's still, I'm calling it F in the in the monthly, but really, it's recycled. This is a spectacular stock. So, yeah, I'll do a question about fibs. I'll do the fibs, and tomorrow we can talk about the fibs. Um, <laughs> meantime, back at the ranch, let me just mention one more time my webinar. What you do is you get my webinar. It's free if, you, if you've never been a subscriber. It's free for subscribers. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe now. And basically, you'll get the webinar an hour and a half from last Wednesday, which is non-time specific. It's a really looking at, it's time specific looking out, but it's not like it has to be today. And you can go through it as many times as you want. I just, it was really comprehensive. I got a lot of work done, got everything I wanted, plus questions, number one. Number two is, um, this is the, uh, this is the, 
Oh, Netflix. This is the uh, chart that um, uh, chart pro process of looking at the charts that we, we, we're really looking at. Now, one of the things that's really important, as far as I'm concerned, is within that there was there was like there was a stock that we chose. I chose as our a stock that we wanted to follow day by day using Chapman Wave, learning the Chapman Wave methodology. It's up quite nicely since we got it. In fact, today it's up 0.60%. The market is down 0.30 to or more percent. It depends on which uh, index you're looking at. So this is very important in terms of the process that we're looking at. I discussed the VIX and all that, but it's is coming. So every day you get my newsletter. You can go through. You can archive those. Look at the archives, and we've always got new positions on. And we follow every position very closely. It's a very comprehensive look at the markets every single day, right down, I mean, even to my overview section, which is just a quick summation of what we're looking at in terms of the, the VIX, the uh, uh, Dow 120-minute chart, the, uh, the arms, the trend index, the daily Dow, the S&P, and I give a summation of what to look at, what to expect intraday. Whoops. So within that context, Wednesday week, I'm doing the second webinar. That's going to be really way more specific. We're going to be looking at what is working and what is not, and can the market hold all the way to 2000, the sector rotation. Thank you. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.